Good morning, kindergarten. So earlier this year, we were reading all about our planet Earth, and we were reading all about young people who are advocating for our planet Earth to be saved. So I'm going to link those two books that we read about Greta Thunberg and about planet Earth. I'm going to link them on the same page as our read aloud today. Now our read aloud today, it's a change. It's called Don't Let Them Disappear. And the reason we're pausing our other book is that today is Earth Day. And Earth Day is an important day where we celebrate our planet Earth. Now this book in particular is important because it's talking about endangered species. Can you say that with me? Endangered species. And endangered species means species or animals that are not going to be alive anymore if our earth keeps doing what it's doing. That means if our earth, like Greta Thunberg said, if the ice caps keep melting, if fires keep happening, our earth won't be safe for them. So I'm going to read a few of the different animals on here and let's begin. Front cover, back cover, spine. Touch your back, touch your spine, open your mind, hands in your lap. It's story time. Now this book is written by Chelsea Clinton. She is the author. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi ho a cherry oh. The author writes the words. And this book is illustrated by Gianna Marino. And Gianna Marino is the illustrator. And the illustrator draws the picture. The illustrator draws the picture. The illustrator draws the picture. Hi ho a cherry oh. The illustrator draws the picture. Don't let them disappear. So here they are on our globe right now, all of these animals that we're going to be talking about. There are animals on every continent, which means every single color right there, in every ocean on Earth. Tall ones and short ones, massive ones and smaller ones, animals with long necks and long legs, animals that are strong and not so strong. Every animal is a species that is unique and important to life on Earth. Some are almost gone and be could become extinct if we don't act to save them right now. Okay, long before, oh, Miss Bear forgot to show you that page. So here they are explaining about all the animals in the world. Long before the sun is up, giraffes wake up early to get a head start on their day's work of walking, eating, and staying away from predators, which means animals or people that want to kill them to eat. Yum, yum, yum. Towers of giraffes will walk nine or more miles every day to find the food they eat, even though they are the tallest animal on earth with the longest necks. They use nearly two feet long tongues to reach even higher for the leaves that make up most of their diet, which means most of what they eat. Every giraffe has a unique pattern of spots to help hide from predators. But giraffes don't rely solely on their spots for protection. A single giraffe kick can kill a lion. Don't let them disappear. So giraffes are endangered species. Okay, I'm flipping a few pages. Blue whales are the largest animal the world has ever seen. 
Whales are mammals, but scientists can sense their heartbeat from up to 20 miles away. Don't let them disappear. Waking up to the sun, gorillas leave their nest to find food before they'll get to rest again. Language is not the only thing humans and gorillas share. That means they can communicate. Gorillas can catch human disease, even a cold like right now with our COVID-19, which can be deadly. Don't let them disappear. Very important. We really need to make sure rhinoceroses are safe. Don't let rhinoceroses disappear. Giant pandas spend most of their time alone in the afternoon. Don't let them disappear. Whale sharks are the biggest fish in the world. Don't let them disappear. In the Arctic for much of the year, day and night, polar bears sleep when seals as their main food. Polar bears have good eyesight. Don't let them disappear. Lions and lionesses sleep such a long time. Don't let them disappear. Sea otters sleep by lying on their backs and wrapping themselves in kelp or seaweed. Don't let them disappear. Orange toes prepare their nest in trees by building roofs to cover their head. Don't let them disappear. Tigers wake up to hunt in the middle of the night. Don't let them disappear. Elephants are enjoying their second day of sleep when the sun is high and hot. Don't let them disappear. Let's make a pledge as fellow people who live on planet Earth that we won't let any of our species disappear. Mm. So, it says, why are they endangered? There are many reasons animals in this book are endangered. Global warming, which means it's getting too hot outside because we are using so much gas in our cars to drive. We are doing so much with factories. Ah, so, so sad. Water pollution, right? So when trash gets in our water, sometimes people hunt to try to have animals for clothing or fur. Or even when we clear land, we say, I want this land. The animals don't have this land anymore. All of these things can be changed. If we work together, and the animals then won't be endangered anymore. So what's something you can do? Talk to your friends about the animals in this book and why they're so special. Support zoos and visit the animals there. Tell your family they shouldn't buy jewelry, trophies, or anything made by animals. Recycle whenever you can. So you can recycle paper. There are lots of other things you can recycle. We're going to learn about that later today. Never throw trash in the ocean or anywhere but recycling or trash can.
Help plant trees in your community. Celebrate animals on their special days. So here is the page where it says all the different things that we can do. And on that note, I want you to tell me something you are going to do to help our endangered species. I can't wait to see on Seesaw.